Good morning. Another beautiful morning. You might be able to see a little of the sun coming through. I know you probably can't hear the geese flying over. But the sun is shining against these trees in front of me. And the change of the color is at hand. I woke this morning with this. I had a, a sadness that came over. A sadness and being part, uh, or not being part, but being empathic, being an empath, I sense and I have a feel of others' energies. Those that are around me, those that I know, those who I've connected with, I feel their energies. And there is, as a whole, there is a whole lot of sadness going on in this world. And that's what I woke with, sadness. Some might be mine, but there was a lot that was outside of me. A dear friend who has been on life support for a few days. She's a wonderful teacher. Beautiful soul. And for the last few years, all she's talked about is going home to be with her husband and her daughter. She's guided me through a lot of things. Shown me a lot of things. A wonderful teacher again. I felt a great sadness with her. There's somebody else that I've been feeling their energy come through so strong. I always feel that energy, but it's coming through stronger. Sadness is something that I want to talk about for just a moment, and it's understanding the sadness that's that you feel. <clears throat> There's a difference between your own sadness and sadness that you feel through others. And the more in tune you become with yourself, the more you'll find you're sensitive to others and their energies. And these times can cause a great sadness all into themselves, not knowing what's, what's lying ahead of us in our day to day. The world changing in such a way that how do you make plans? Yes, I know you make plans, but how do you make plans when everything is changing? And there's where sadness steps in because nothing seems to be as it was. Is that a bad thing? Or are many good things coming from all of this? I know there are many out there who are tuned into politics, tuned into religion, and are being guided, led, follow. And for me, it's like I was a, there was a long moment in my life where I followed and I was all part of that. And it's like now it's, I look at what directs my life around me. And there is a Part of the sadness that I felt this morning that's coming from that, where the world is, how people are, how some are changing and some are not, how some are choosing to stay in the old, the old ways of thinking. And there are many right now that are, who are breaking free and they're coming to that point where they're just not happy with where they are and they can't figure it out. They don't know what it is. It's just like an unsettling way about them. And I feel you. Sadness. It happens. But when you are able to understand where the sadness is coming from, it changes the dynamics of the sadness, the, of the emotion. Yes, you will feel it and it'll feel heavy. But you will get yourself with practice to a place where you will be able to contend with the sadness that might try to sweep through your life.
you know, there was a, a long period of my life where I dealt with sadness and I dealt with trying to block things that I knew were coming my way. I just, I tried to block and I would block those things with consuming too much alcohol. It took me a while to figure out that the alcohol only made things worse. Not to say that I still, I have moments where I like to have a glass of wine. Not like I have. But I do it for a different reason. I don't do it to, to escape an emotion. Because reality of it is these emotions that hit us are things that we have to contend with. Sometimes they're just triggers in us to work on things within us. Things that we need to heal. Remember, when you forgive, you heal. And when you let go, you make room to grow. It's time. Sadness happens. The emotion of. And it encompasses much. There's many other aspects of our day-to-day -day that fall into the category that creates the emotion of sadness self-worth, self-love, all these other things that play a part in our emotions, which most time comes out in a sadness of incomplete. I don't feel as if I'm where I should be. I don't feel as if uh, I'm doing what it is I'm supposed to be doing. And then there's the unknown sadness, the, uh, these other emotions, these other, well, we just can't identify. And a lot of times that's things that we have not forgiven, people, ourselves. How do we change that emotion of sadness? It's not easy, but you can do it. And it's by looking at all the things that are around you that you are doing well. Go out as I'm looking out now, this little window that I have. And I see the sun coming through. I see the beauty yet to be seen for this day. And I'm anxious to get out into it. Even though by the standards in which I live, this is kind of chilly out. But still, there's beauty. Sadness. You are awesome, you are beautiful, and you are here for a reason. This is the season to find your reason. That is all. Be well, be love, always. And until next time, stay awesome.